Next week for our 12-week integration plan, we're looking at uh, helping students use calendars. And I think everyone would agree that if we can make our students a little more organized, um, <clears throat> it's going to make their life and our lives um, a bit easier. So here I have a sample student calendar here. It's all blank, um, ready to go. And uh, I'm going to just show you how to put some, some things in. Um, I think a lot of us have been using the calendar for a while now. So it's nothing nothing too new, I hope. To start off, I would I just have students maybe put in their schedule. And you could do something like, you know, first hour is maybe algebra, second hour, earth science. You got a wicked awesome new tech and art class. And they go to lunch. And they can just fill up their schedule by just clicking once in the area and then writing down what they have to do. And they might want to put a little bit more explanation in there. So, for instance, maybe in uh, language arts, they're reading the Scarlet, Scarlet Letter. chapters 1 through 4. <clears throat> and so they know that they got something coming up for that, and that's chapters 1 through 4. And they can go in, keep going on, and filling in their their own daily schedule. Um, <clears throat> something I try and do with my students is periodically I'll kind of give the students about five minutes to input their stuff that they have to do at the end of the day. So I'll say, okay, let's start at three o'clock and let's write in what you have to do. So if they're a senior, they probably have um, work after school. And if they need a little bit more time than just an hour, they can, they can still click the event here and then just drag the bottom here. So maybe they work you know, about four hours after school, okay? Well, then when they get home, <clears throat> they have dinner. Maybe. And then, let's say they, you know, they have algebra chapter eight problems. 1 through 27. That's a lot of problems in algebra. All right, so create that event. And then it'll give them, you know, just kind of a way to organize their life so that um, they're spending less time trying to figure out what's going to happen next. And, um, you know, after they put in all their homework, Then they can see, okay, well, you know, now I can go to bed at 9.30 and I don't have to stay up as late. Or if they start to go over time, you know, they can think to themselves, well, why am I going over time and stuff like that? And just simple little lessons um, like that can greatly help students uh, make good choices when it comes to doing work at night or, or anything. And it's a life skill that they'll have to use for the rest of their life. Now also in the calendar we have tasks. I love this task bar. And if I click over on the left side here and see it pulls up my tasks. Um, to input a new task, so let's say I got to do, I don't know, clean the art room. I can just click in an open space here and type Like that. Now this task list will also show up in in my mail too. So if I click where it says mail and I go to tasks, it'll show up here.
in the mail option too. So that wherever you're looking inside of Google, you can have your tasks. And this is another great way to stay organized. Uh, for myself, you know, I have different things that I do on different days of the week. And I just kind of have those as ongoing reminders, as well as anything else that I need to work on. So between tasks and calendar, students will be able to be a lot more organized. And setting aside, you know, five to ten minutes of class time can really help organize students and get them into a, a better daily schedule.